if you ask me one of the better books of Sirah, I will say that the book of uh, somebody who I had the great honor to study with and my sheikh and my teacher, Sheikh Safir Rahman al Furi, has written Ar-Rahiq al-Makhtoum. And this book has a story, and I just want to mention the story, and I encourage you to buy it. In 1979, Wami, the World Assembly of Muslim Youth, Rabat al Adam Islamiyah, one of the largest bodies of Islamic uh, scholarship and academics, made an announcement that they want a worldwide competition in books of Sirah. They wanted to have a competition to see which book of Sirah could be written that was suitable for the modern place and times. And so they made a competition that the entire world is, can contribute, anybody can contribute, a new book in Sirah, and they would choose the best one. And so over 400 books were written in that one year, because the grand prize was uh, $100,000, I think, which for the time was quite a lot of money. And so a lot of researchers said, oh, this is a good thing for us, good incentive, let's, uh, let's try to do this. And so out of these you know, 400 books or so, which were written in multiple languages, uh, the book that won first prize was the book of Alhamdulillah, the Sheikh Sabir Rahman, uh, my Sheikh, and it was called Ar-Rahiq al-Makhtoum, which is the sealed nectar, Ar-Rahiq al-Makhtoum. And it is a book that is a very simple, very easy to follow, very beautiful book. It's a very good book. It does the job of the Sirah in a very professional and academic manner. Unfortunately, the English translation is just terrible. It's just completely terrible. I mean, I'm sorry, I can't, you know, it's really bad. The Urdu I've heard is very good. Now, the Sheikh was Indian, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I have some bias here, Alhamdulillah. Uh, uh, the Sheikh was Indian, so he could read Urdu, so he uh, approved the Urdu. He wrote it in Arabic. He's an Indian. He wrote it. He never stepped foot in Arabia. And he wrote it in Azamgarh, a small village. A small village, right? He told me the story that he said he literally locked himself up in his library for four months, just going out to eat and to go to the bathroom. That's all he went. For four months, he locked himself up and he wrote this book, al Rahiq al Makhtoum, in very beautiful Arabic. I was really shocked that his Arabic was so strong, even though he was not, uh, had never lived there. And it won first prize. And it's a very good book in Arabic. It's also a very good book in English and Urdu, from what I've been told. The Arabic, uh, the English translation is really quite weak. Whoever translated it was not fluent in English. So anybody who reads it in English, understand that the style is much better. But you get the facts. You get the facts. In in English, so my encouragement to you, if you want something, that you buy Ar-Rahiq al-Makhtoum, 